Yes. My name is McNamara, and we're and leaders leader of, of a band. band. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, we should have played that. Um, so, yes, why... <laughs> I should have picked it. <laughs> <laughs> so, two blo blokes walk into a studio, and uh, the DJ says, Why the long Fish. time? <laughs> 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 Where have you been? Well, we've just been working on this album. It's mm. um, taken us this long to get it right. Um, Refugees was one of the first songs that we wrote for it. Um, it's a great track. Yeah, and Richard re wrote it, brought it in pretty much finished about, it's about four years ago, was it? 2009. Yeah. Really? Yeah, and, and it's taken us this long to get another nine that were as good. <laughs> I mean, if we'd have written one that sucked, we'd have been fine. Yeah. <laughs> if we'd have finished like three or four years ago, we'd have been great. You know, those are easy. Yeah, <laughs> I could write you one of them now. Yeah, right, rubbish ones all day long. Go on, <laughs> do it. Because <laughs> um, I kept saying, you know, whenever I play an embrace track, I think, where have they gone? What's happened to embrace? I miss it's embrace. Like, it's like been in limbo. It's been really, really tough. You know, Ooh. like I've really, I've been aching to get back out there and play live again. You know, but we we just wanted to make a really great record, and it's just taken us this long to get one that we're happy with. And it's April the. 28th now we've got to yeah, wait until yeah. It's oh, honestly, it's really good, Jai. I, 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 I believe you. I, like, believe you. I can't wait to hear it. Been so many times when we thought it was almost finished, we'd actually set up um, a studio camera at one point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we thought we're, thought, yeah, we're, we're filming the vlog straight now, and we were <laughs> yeah, about yeah. halfway through, really. Yeah. But we had no we idea. Three years ago. Have you kept all of that footage? Yeah, we, we thought we'd reached the top up. of the mountain, and like <laughs> we were waving at base camp. We had no idea. And then when we did actually finish about two weeks ago, there wasn't any celebration. We were just like, oh, I just slumped in a. Corner half dead, like <laughs> it's done. It's do is it you sure it's done? I don't know. Right, no one home. said it's not done yet. It's done until anybody says it. And the day after we remastered two tracks. Yeah. So and it wasn't really it done. All, Richard. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 And yeah, where did you do it? Uh, at my house, I've got um, like a studio set up in uh, like a side stable. Yeah. It used to be a stable uh, uh -huh. building that yeah. we uh, sort of soundproofed and yeah. put all the gear in there. That's it's great like for you then, isn't it? Because you can just industry. Industry. For me, yeah. you can just fall out yeah, the door. Yeah. You've got to get a train down here. Well, no, actually, at the moment, I'm living underneath the studio in oh a little you? flat down there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, there's like room a, in the video. Yeah, there's uh, on one of the trailer videos for the album. Um, there's this room with all these like graffiti and stuff on the walls. I'm living in that room at the moment. It doesn't look the same as that at the moment. It's you know, it's got some paint on the walls, but yeah. So I literally, as soon as I hear them like, making a noise upstairs, <laughs> I get out of bed. <laughs> As a shower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> None of that. Boy, keep that noise down. <laughs> Makes himself a full English. <laughs> <laughs> My mum and dad were so relieved that it was finished because they're living down there at the moment as well. So it's, yeah. They're getting uh, the rehearsals both barrels at the moment. Though. Yeah. So they're, oh, yeah. all the stopping and starting. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. The same song Not that over song over. again. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and of course, your son, um, who I actually met Sunny, when yeah. you did a session for me at Pebble Mill, which was a long time yeah. ago. Yeah. And I met your baby son, or I've got pictures of him. Yeah. And he's Ten now. He's ten now, yeah. yeah. And Gosh. right cheeky monkey. And he's in the video. He's in the video, yeah. yeah. But in fact, the last time I saw you was at Guildfest, wasn't it? Yeah. I introduced that him. Was, oh, I loved doing that. That was a good It was a great day, that, wasn't yeah. it? I really enjoyed it. I remember um, I had to run around something for charity. <laughs> I made sure that you sponsored me and my daughter. Some of, the, some of the best days in my life have been festivals. Mm. Like, the crowds have just been immense for us. You know, when, when you least expect it, we've just, you know, we've been away for ages or and we do a festival and then as soon as there's a crowd of people in you know there's like thousands of people out there all going oh yeah oh you did that one yeah, oh yeah. you did that one oh and <laughs> that one you know yeah. I think that moment uh, where, where they all sing along to something must be fantastic yeah. yeah that feeling I can't imagine what it must be like first ever that that happened was um, in Sheffield for me at the lead mill <gasps> love the lead mill yeah it was really early gig and we did all you good good people and everyone's hanging along I just thought wow uh, it was amazing. Uh, it's, uh, it's yeah. very emotional. Yeah, I, mean, I have actually yeah. cried when I've heard crowds singing yeah. along like that. I've had, I've had, I've had homes when I've felt like that. Mm. Yeah, quite a lot. Okay, we're gonna play the new single. This is Embrace and Refugees. 
as wonderful that's Embrace and <laughs> Refugees on full blast in the studio <laughs> was <laughs> crammed it right up and as I said to you I'm sorry it didn't hurt your ears did no, you? no, by the no, speaker no, I didn't good, think how inconsiderate yeah. um, but they've got to be some uh, they're going to be they've got to be uh, dance nexuses of that because it's got that vibe yeah, yeah, right, yeah. bring it on yeah if you uh, think yeah. you've got the chops have a yeah. go <laughs> do it and uh, Robert Hicks has just been in touch saying the Highlands are ready and awaiting your arrival uh, next month can't wait thanks Jan for alerting me to the fact that we're getting back together well they didn't they weren't they haven't broken up no no <laughs> we never split up we've no. just been working really hard on this album all the time and you're going to Fat Sands in Dundee on the 13th of February yeah. on Valentine's night you'll be spending it at yeah. the Lemon Tree in Aberdeen yeah. 15th yeah. of February the Loft in Forres and the Ironworks in Inverness yeah, on the 16th of February off. but you've been practicing and you've done a couple of secret gigs yeah 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 we did uh, a secret gig in the Pitch Black um, which we didn't realise I was hard it was going to be to prepare for that and uh, we had to rehearse for two weeks yeah, did you? in pitch black <laughs> yeah. yeah put tinfoil over the windows so the why did you decide no to light. do that because we're um, mental <laughs> we kind of had these ideas and everyone goes yeah yeah that's a good sounds idea. like a great idea and then when you think about the logistics of it you like to try oh. and work it out after yeah so there was no light at no all no light at all <laughs> not even a mo well, nothing no, no. no. tipped no. over all the leds on yeah. the yeah. and on yeah. the gear and yeah. the pedals and and we had to what we had to do was we had to get um kind of if it's luminous or fluorescent yeah uh, thing Nail varnish. Yeah, so you could see your fingers. What yeah. colour did you go for? It was green. <laughs> well, we had stripes on the guitars, but then you couldn't see where yeah. your fingers were in yeah. relation to the stripes on the guitar. So, so after every song, we had to like, strobe. You had to put on. your finger against the strobe yeah. to recharge and the And that would recharge in. the luminous paint so that we could see it again. That's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. And what about the organs? Well, they all got led in. We were actually waiting for them because we wouldn't have been able to find the stage. No, no, so no. we just stood on stage mm. waiting for them and they all got led in. And it's really, really surreal. slow strobe just flicking like yeah, so we could sort of see photographs being taken, stills of yeah. being led in with a hand on uh, the shoulder of the person in front. Yeah. I love the all idea of this. They're all this. dressed in black as well. They yeah, all we got them all dressed in black. black. Really? Yes. But they're not going to see anything. It was oral. Um, no, so we also had these screens and we were filming it um, yeah, night in infrared on. night vision cameras okay. as well. That's a very so. attractive look, isn't it? That um, <laughs> yeah, it puts years on you, darling. <laughs> that program where they go yeah. looking for ghosts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh dear, stop <laughs> flattering. Yeah, we had these like black hoodies on as well, so that it'd look even darker. But then on the infrared, they all showed up. They all look white. white. So a lot yeah. of them had white. Wow. Yeah. So this is going to be released. This footage is it? Um, it's, it's got to be. Already, I think. Is it? Uh, yeah. We, we kind of we sort of make a trailer for the next secret gig with the footage from the previous one. So there's kind of a little bit of footage of it on on the internet. We didn't actually record any of the audio. We just yeah. recorded all the. But the visual stuff, stuff looked amazing. That sounds yeah. great. So yeah. there were two secret gigs, and the oh, other yeah, one yeah. was yeah. that one. The, the one after that was kind of like a, a paint celebration kind yeah. of thing, where we got everyone had to wear like white overalls yeah. and goggles mm, and uh, face like mask, a, like a dust mask. Yeah. And then we put plastic all over the way. It's at the boxing club where yeah. where I go to. Mm. And there's uh, like plastic all over the walls and all over the roof, and we played in the ring, and it was like a. People said it was like a Dexter's kind of kill room sort of. Oh right, yeah. yes. Yeah. Oh. We put like, we oh. put, like red paint all over the walls, yeah. made it look like blood. blood splattered and stuff. Oh, yeah. that sounds pretty <laughs> just, just kind of like. I think the reason we got into doing it is just because we'd done the tour circuit so much, um, and it's just a way of remembering your life. Because yeah. When you do the Brixton Academy, it's amazing, mm. but then you do it again and then again and then again. Mm. Yeah. And then it's kind of, it all kind of blends into one yeah. gig, you know. So these, these you remember. remember yeah, I've those, those, both of those, those days, are two of the biggest days of my life. I'll remember them forever, definitely. And uh, did you work out whether the audience were the same both nights, or did you spread? Because I know. Oh, no, we're, we're, we're very, very, yeah. yeah, we're very clever about how we find the people for these secret gigs. It's a very clandestine operation. Because mm. I, I <laughs> people were telling me about them. <laughs> yeah, yeah they're all trying <laughs> to get into the next one, but the next one, you know, it's. It's, it's all very, all very hush hush. Do you know I can't work <laughs> out which one I would like. I'd probably have to go to the paint one because, well, I've got vertigo, terrible vertigo, right, which right. also affects. It. If you can't see, you I get really. Yeah, yeah, what do you yeah. think about you on stage? Yeah, Did you ever yeah. think you were going to step off? Well, that's it. You know, you never know. You're going to bang your head or <laughs> get injured. And no, it was on the it was on the flat ground, wasn't it? Was yeah, but if something it. goes wrong, you mm. can't just wing it. No. You, you're in complete darkness. Cock you know, it's <laughs> like, oh, turn the lights on, please. You know, I've lost me plectrum or whatever <laughs> you know so we had to really really rehearse for that we, we really drilled ourselves into the ground so that we, we we could literally do it with our eyes closed 
That's such a fantastic idea. Sorry, just going back to you, Richard, and yeah. the boxing club that I go to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, are you, are you tough guy. Real tough, yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> I wouldn't say I was a tough guy. I, uh, you know, I, I can I can run a bit. <laughs> um, are you sort of, you know, a Rocky in the making? Or? Uh, that's got a 44 inch chest. Yeah. Oh, right. Mine's only 38. I used to be his big brother. <laughs> I'm just sorry, I'm looking at you, I going down there a couple of years ago. I've got a friend who, who, who might pop up again later on, um, who started doing boxing. Mm. And, um, Gareth. Yeah. And, uh, he was telling me about it. And I thought, what? He's boxing? He's for real? And then he showed me all these pictures of him doing it. And I thought, yeah, I fancy a go at that. So I just started... He's got right into it. Went down with my, uh, my young lad. And um, started going down. And then I dragged the missus down there as well. And she's she a, boxes she's there. She's a coach now. She's yeah. an instructor now. <laughs> yeah. She, um, she got punched in the nose the other day oh. by uh, one of the young lads. Got an uppercut right on the end of her nose. Which was quite... It's funny. amazing the size of our Richard's nose. <laughs> no one ever hits it. <laughs> Yeah. How do you miss that? <laughs> oh, you've got like, not much space left around that. I'm like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny though, when I was a kid um, in Liverpool and uh, I lived in Bootle, uh, virtually every street corner would have a boxing club mm. on it because back in the day it was the way out for, you know, working yeah. class people to try and be a footballer. Yeah. Try well, there and be is a another one, that, I mean, the one that I go to, the Halifax, yeah. um, Halifax Amateur Police Boxing Club, this is one about 200 yards up the road. So it's big um, up there. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if I could ever go. I no, it's good. It's, it's good. It? It's kind of a really intimidating when you first go there, and that's kind of part of the reason that I originally went there. Um, because I was scared of doing it. Yeah. I thought, right, I'm not, not going to be scared of that. I'm going to go do it. So, yeah. so I got in there. But um, really nice people as well, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my uncle told me he was a boxer. Anyway, moving on. Um, first of all, just before we play this track, um, which you've picked, Danny, is mm -hmm. that soft cell tainted love. Where's that t-shirt from, I've been asked? <laughs> you don't well, know. Well, this one, I've no idea. I really don't know. I'm not sure if she's on about this one or one from a photo shoot or... It was on... You know. It must have been on Facebook yesterday, last yeah. week. Um, all right, soft cell, why tainted love? Um, well, it's the first ever record that I ever bought, and I just remember being in the youth club... Uh, I was just starting to get interested in girls. I was about 11 years old. Oh, and uh, it was... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll admit it. I was eight. <laughs> I just didn't look too rough. Um, and uh, yeah, on a Friday, I'm playing this, drinking Coca-Cola and eating crisps and eyeing up the girls at the other side of the room. And Was the one in particular you fancied? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sharon. Oh, Sharon. Yeah. <laughs> Sharon Parnell. She was called. Sharon Parnell. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like a film star. Yeah. <laughs> she looked like one. Yeah. Aww. She was hot. She looked like Wilma Deering off Buck Rogers. <laughs> and did you get to go out with her? Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we went out for, for and, uh, a couple of years on and off. I uh, remember, uh, remember that pack so thing because she started smoking. It's immense oh, and so many lovely. It's a very principled and everything you know about that. That's a chance to embrace. Ooh, embrace and love it. Don't be in the UK. Oh, loads and loads of stuff. That can be a bring out this t-shirt that I was wearing. It was and then we came back. <laughs> the information. Um. I, had a, I used to have a t-shirt uh, that had Vinyl Junkie on the front and I used to get asked about that quite a lot. Yeah. And this guy um, set up a shop called that just after my t-shirt and he wrote to me about it and Did said I've set up a shop because I really liked your t-shirt. Oh. Vinyl Junkie. In You're Japan. an inspiration. Yeah. Selling t-shirts. For a t- no. <laughs> Selling vinyl obviously. <laughs> He's a one, isn't he? Nine hungers. I'm here all week. Yeah. Uh, well, what, what have you missed most? I mean, in terms of, you know, the lifestyle and what have you. Oh, um, God. There was a moment where, where we did the secret gig in the basement at Pitch Black, where we played, because everyone was so tentative about what they were supposed to do. Mm. It was kind of like they were all on strict instructions to get there at a certain yeah. time. Strict instructions not to make any noise, what to wear, where yeah. to go, how not to, to sit, drink, how to not look. to talk. Th there was just not like this kind of silence as they came in. Yeah. It was quite eerie. Yeah, yeah. It, was. it was really spooky. And um, we played the first song, and it was kind of like this, this, this quiet moment. And then everyone just absolutely erupted. 
and just that energy, that feeling of everyone, it's like being there. Wow, you the five years away. have been worth it. But it do you also think that's been c because of that sort of control and everybody's, yeah. you know, yeah. you know can't do this, can't do that. Time, yeah. And then so there's a moment where everybody just explodes with the excitement of yeah, you yeah, performing, yeah. but also with the fact that you've been told you can't do anything <laughs> yeah, for yeah. the last however long Yeah, it's long like it not being allowed to giggle in assembly, isn't it? And you and just you can't, can't stop it. yourself giggling. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a memory blister, yeah. aren't you? Weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you and Sharon Paul are still doing it in assembly. Oh, yeah. yeah. Assembly was right always. You, when, when, when you have to sing on what Christian soldiers, everybody yeah. used to start getting stopped, stopping their feet. Yeah. Yeah. And the teachers would be looking to see who was doing it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, the next tune is I've Never Seen This Song. I know. The Jungle. And you've book. never seen Fargo either. No. Which is insane. I'm going to write you a list. I know you are. And, and you've never seen With Nell and I either. No. Can someone write her a list, please? Star Wars. You've never seen Star Wars? <laughs> I don't like space stuff. Empire Strikes Back? <laughs> yeah, that's a good no. one. No. Jedi? No. So anyway, this film is the first film that I watched all the way through without going for a wee, according to my mum. <laughs> oh. Because you were just so... I absolutely loved it. It's mm. amazing. Like, it's just... And, and this particular song, I just think it's... For this, you know, like, half 12 at night, you want to hear it coming out of the radio. It just makes you feel better about life because it's the bare necessities, isn't it? Yeah, like that's all that matters, you know. <laughs> Should I crank this one up yeah. as well, like? Yeah, yeah. come on, let's sing along. Necessities, <laughs> <laughs> the simple bed. Put your worries in your stride. I need it. Yeah, clearly haven't seen it, Jay. <laughs> 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 Have you seen the castle? Which the castle? Have you seen Which that? One? The no, film The no. Castle. Oh my god, Jervis! <laughs> yeah, that's like the top five saw, films ever. I saw Heat at the weekend. That's pretty good. I thought that was very funny. Yeah. I yeah. really liked it. What's the name of the actress that's in it with Sandra Bullock? And she was also in... Oh, um, yeah, I know what you mean. She was in yeah. uh, Hangover 3. She yeah. was hilarious in that. Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, you know what I mean. She's called, yeah. that, that was Phil Harris and uh, Bruce Reitherman and the Bear Necessity. Yeah, man. And, <laughs> in fact, we were just talking about uh, Adam Ant. Yeah. Well, that was That would be my mastermind subject yeah, if I was I ever would, to go on it. Um, the Jungle Book. But that it is, that's the film, isn't it? <laughs> 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 yeah, that is the film. That song was in, yes. Uh, you just got little Nail gaps, haven't you? <laughs> 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 um, that would be good in with Neil and I, that, fit, that, that, that song, yeah. So, uh, yes, would that be your mastermind topic? You said I think so, Adam, yeah. Adam and yeah, I, I used to certainly know a lot about Adam and the Ants when I was a kid, and I don't think I've forgotten it. I'd certainly better revise and get back up to speed on it anyway. What and are the members called? Oh, uh, Larry Mullen. Mm -hmm. Mark Hope. No, that's uh, Larry Mullen's in the YouTube. Oh, yeah, hang on, hang on. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. All right, okay. Right, Marco Perone. Yes. Yeah. Merrick. Yeah. Yeah. Terry Lee Jones, uh, Stuart Goddard, Adman, Terry, obviously, yeah. and then Gibbs, Gary something Tibbs. Gibbs, Gary Tibbs, Gary Tibbs, no, Mark Merrick, Terry Lee, Terry Lee, Gary, Gary Tibbs, yours truly. truly. But then there's another one, isn't there? He passed on <laughs> no. <laughs> Mooney, Keith Mooney, <laughs> Keith Mooney as well. Was he? Wasn't he one? Yeah. But I want to know about the jackets that you had when you were in <laughs> <laughs> Adam Ant's jacket. Yeah. We told you that in confidence, <laughs> Janice. <laughs> Did you? I'm sorry. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. We went to we went to see him at the uh, Prince Charming <laughs> Review at the Queen's Hall in Leeds. Yeah. That must have been 1983. Two, three, yeah. yeah. And uh, my grandma made us both <laughs> an Adam and the Ants braided jacket. Wow. Out of a red, 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 uh, red body warmer. Red body warmer, yeah. With gold braiding that she did. Oh, oh we looked class. I and thought did we looked you good. have the... Yeah, yeah the white line across white the face. Yeah, and the, oh, the two red stripes. Yeah, the red yeah. and the yeah. side there, and the yeah. little sideburns. The whole gear. You really wear fans, yeah, and still big are. Style. Yeah, big Yeah. And yeah. the full leather blonde there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Did you fight over records and stuff when you were kids? Uh, we had a babysitter called Janet who was kind of just getting out of him because maybe he got too popular and he wasn't yeah. cool enough for yeah. her because she was like so we were in one stone quite early. Yeah, you know we had she like gave us all, all the cool stuff, stuff records, like yeah. Xerox machine and yes. car trouble and all all the stuff that you know the other kids at school just didn't have because we were only like ten years old. Yeah, we had all these like old punk numbers and stuff because of the babysitter. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that well, we, yeah. there was a few holes in the collection, so I went down to Pennine Music. On co um, Commercial Street in Brighouse, yeah. and we had to order them, and it was a yeah. pound ten. Yeah. Really? <laughs> One pound and, uh, ten. Got uh, the first single was Lady, wasn't it? 
Whip, whip in my valise, yeah, lady. Whip, whip in my valise. Hey, you see, I think it's all still there, Janice. Yeah, well, Bring it on. John Humphrey, should we give him a call? Young Parisian, John Ellis. Actually, somewhere, but I've started, so I've finished. I do have, somewhere in the system, I have actually got the the mastermind music on, unless somebody's nicked it. I'll find it in a minute. Oh, mastermind questions on Adam and the Ants. Bring it on. Think. Let me see. Yeah, so the the name of the drum. Was it Lady? Was it Lady? Young Parisians. Young Parisians was by ah, you got a tune. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here we go. Okay. The chosen subject yes. is Adam Ant. Adam Ant was born on which day in which year? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's a tricky one. I'm not sure. He went to oh, yeah, Ponty Arts if you're College. Oh, yeah, can't say that to tricky one, John. <laughs> you went to Ponty Arts I've just said pass. Move along to the next one quickly. Um, OK, I have another question yeah, for you. Tapestry uh, must have been the biggest yeah. album yeah. of the 70s. I, yeah. I can't yeah. think of a family that didn't own Tapestry. Yeah. Yeah. And um, Carol King, are you a yeah. huge Carol King fan? Yeah. Well, my mum used to sing uh, to me when I was a kid, and she used to do a lot of... Uh, Karen Carpenter stuff and also Carol King and um, yeah Tapestry is just like it's one of those albums when you're feeling a bit down or whatever or you're a bit, maybe a bit hungover on a Sunday and you've got that sort of low endorphins going on and you just you know you feel a bit down for whatever reason stick that on and it's just like a warm blanket it just makes you feel better warms you up from the inside oh that's a lovely description uh, well I'm going to play this and then Richard is going to perform for us all right some uh, Carol King, and you've got a friend. Gorgeous. I what? love those backing vocals that you were doing. <laughs> good to know. <laughs> it's good to know. <laughs> Carol King, and you got a friend, and Danny and Richard uh, from Embrace are here. Um, Embrace, uh, the t shirt in question is the one Danny wears in the latest <laughs> promo shirt. Yes, we do know which shop it is. And uh, um, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think um, oh, when the. Sense. Go marching in. Yeah. Think about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, slightly. And Grant, oh, that was Johnny Walker. Uh, Grant A. Cameron, um, loving it. And what a great interview, Jan. Such fun to listen to. And some great tunes too. Says Phil, who is in Dorset. Uh, Dan says that you have to do a book. Um, your two guests are just killing me. What fun! <laughs> Would love a night out with them. Says Steve. Um, See, so doesn't mention me. Huh? Uh, you can go. Yeah. Leave her at yeah, home. Yeah, but without you, Janice, <laughs> me and Rick, we're just boring. We just sit like boring. <laughs> It's like bar humbug. Yeah, Northern. yeah. Uh, <laughs> can embrace. I love to remix them. And this is Dare Me UK. Huh, so bring it check on. that out. And um, I'd love to remix of uh, that refugees. Um, right. Uh, are there any more here? Yes. Uh, this comeback gets even better. Uh, this is Gary McMusic. Um, Sounds great fun. I'm bouncing along here, and um, <laughs> Refugees is an amazing song. Thanks and a lot. Just piles and piles of Quint stuff. Hear the album, honestly. Well, I can't wait, but uh, yeah, I've got to wait till April the 28th. <laughs> oh, we'll get I'm sure better to sort you out an earlier. It'll be all over the internet sure. before they might. Sure. Sure. Sort it out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, um, we did invite you to read, and Richard, you accepted. Yeah, yeah. the challenge. Yeah, yeah the challenge. Yeah. You stepped I up. I can to read. Uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've <laughs> <laughs> been learning how to read all week. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do this quickly. Yeah, he's learning parafash. He's no idea what any of the long words are. <laughs> just, just drawing pictures on a sheet. <laughs> and you stepped up to the podium with um, John Cooper Clark. Yeah, yeah. I, was, uh, I read it out earlier on and... Um, Danny said that I was too deadpan, so I was more deadpan than John Cooper. <laughs> That's not um, He's more northern. Bring it on, <laughs> north off. Slightly north, north. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's called "Things Are Gonna Get Worse." Okay. By John Cooper Clark. What do you worry? I should care. Look for brains, wire for hair. I've seen the future, and I ain't there. Things are gonna get worse. Velcro slippers and a spandex waistband. Washed up on planet wasteland. Zipped up like a nylon spaceman. Things are gonna get worse. Things are gonna get worse, nurse. Things are gonna get rotten. Make that earth reverse, nurse. I'm trying to remember everything that I've forgotten. A menace in the box. I was good in the air. Now I can't get up from an easy chair. The doctor told me, oh yeah, things are gonna get worse. 
Things are going to get worse, nurse. Things are going to get crappy. Colour me perverse, nurse. Bad news always makes me happy. The money's gone. There's just the muck. Social service has passed the book. How bad does it got to suck? Things are going to get worse. <laughs> Things are going to get worse, nurse. Things are going to get dismal. Smite me with a curse, nurse. Make it something real abysmal. All that's left is the taste of soup. Afternoon reruns of F Troop and a painful frame with a built-in stoop. Things are going to get worse. <laughs> Things are gonna get worse, nurse. I ain't optimistic. With a mouth, mouth like a purse, nurse, and a bungalow smelling of fish and biscuits. Life's a bitch. It's a bit rich, doubled up with a permanent stitch. Any kind of effort would be so last ditch. Things are gonna get worse. Young people make me swear. You can't take me anywhere. I'm like a breath of contaminated air. A walking one-man medical scare. Things are gonna get worse. Things are gonna get worse, nurse. Murder by statistics. Take us back to the first verse. The last one's just too pessimistic. Euthanasia. That sounds good. An alpine neutral neighbourhood. Then back to Britain, dressed in wood. Things were gonna get worse. <laughs> well done, all the way to the end. Yeah. <laughs> we love John Cooper Clark. Yeah, that is class. so so good. And I know here from Soviet Union guests sound like you're having too much fun. Almost uh, can too. we all have what you're on? And they sound like fun guys and I love refugees. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. Thank you. Yeah, lovely. Um, well, great to see you. It really, really is. You and too. I was I sort of right laughing, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah no, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm going to play um, one more Embrace track. I've um, managed to nick a track from the forthcoming album. Really? No, I'm joking. Yeah. The faces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. I'd like that. <laughs> Our plugger was like, ah! yeah, Scouser, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm playing another one. I uh, won that. Fell I off his chair. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, for pleasure. Any time, Janice. Any time. All right. Take care.